I made a power feed for my mini mill and I'd like to show you how I put it together. These are the parts I used. The two brackets here are made from half inch or three quarter inch aluminum. I bought this variable speed controller and a plug-in drill. A drill that has a neck is needed. The neck diameter and width should be measured before making the collar bracket. This is a coupling shaft made from a three quarter inch brass rod. And these are standoffs made from threaded rod and locking nuts. Here is a diagram to show you some details. This is how it goes together. This bracket mounts to the left side of the bed. The standoffs screw into the threaded holes in the bracket. Then tighten locking nuts down. Next, set the spacing between the nuts. I have a three quarter inch bed mount bracket, so I set the spacing at one and a half inches. Make sure they're all spaced the same. Space between the brackets is important for the connection of the coupling shaft to the lead screw. Put the lower half of the drill collar bracket onto the standoffs and tighten up the two lock nuts. The drill has a reverse thread retainer screw with a Phillips head. Remove the screw to take off the chuck. An Allen wrench can be put into the cooling fan slot to stop the drill from turning when loosening the chuck. Be careful not to damage the drill internally. The drill shaft has a 3 8 24 thread that fits into the coupling shaft. On the other end of the coupling shaft is a hole and a cross pin that connects to the lead screw on the mill. An 832 flathead screw can be used for a cross pin. A one eighth hole is drilled through the coupling shaft and the drill shaft. A one eighth cotter pin can be used to prevent the shafts from coming apart. When the cotter pin is in place, the drill neck is put into the lower drill collar bracket. The upper part of the bracket is then put in place and the quarter twenty screws put in loosely. The drill is moved into position before tightening down the screws. On the left end of the mill's bed, the cover gets removed. Then the M6 screws come out. Once the cover is removed, the lead screw is visible. It's a good idea to align the lead screw up and down for installation. Longer M6 screws are needed to install the bed mount bracket. The coupling, drill, and bracket will then slide onto the lead screw.
The longer M6 screws should be installed loosely at first. Turning the feed handle on the right side of the bed will help align the power feed. When feed motion is smooth, tighten the screws and check for free motion again. To apply power, plug the drill cord into the variable speed controller. The speed controller then plugs into any outlet. The speed controller has a knob to vary the speed and a three-way switch for variable, off, or full power. Don't use the full power position. On the back there are four screws for the cover plate. Inside there is a small potentiometer to adjust the gain. Since there is live voltage under the cover, you should use rubber gloves when making adjustments. Here is where you can adjust the gain for the knob on the front of the control. Adjust, then check. You may need to do this several times to get it where you want it. To use the power feed, all you have to do is lock the trigger on the drill. Turn the switch on the controller to variable, then turn the knob. To reverse direction, switch off the controller, unlock the trigger, and change the direction switch on the drill. Be careful not to over travel the bed. There are no safety cutoff switches here so you could damage the power feed or the mill if you run the table to the end of travel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Feel free to comment or ask questions in the comment section. Remember to wear your safety glasses when you work in the shop. No animals or humans were harmed during the making of this video. And remember, get off your butt and go make something.